hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is charlene for those of you who are new and to my loyal subscribers thank you as always for coming back Today we are doing a quick TJ Maxx haul. I went to TJ Maxx recently. If you guys know anything about me, I may or may not have mentioned that I absolutely love TJ Maxx. I have hauled amazing deals on fragrances at TJ Maxx and there's always something new. There's always something that I haven't seen before and I love just going to browse. I got a few fragrances, two of them I'm really excited about and I'm gonna start off with those. The first two fragrances I got are from Derek Lamb. Now, I am not super familiar with this brand, but I saw it, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, you know, I Googled them, and I saw the actual retail price for them, and I was like, I have to get this. This is something wild. This is an Eau de Parfum. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce, and this one is Looking Glass. Now, I have tried both, but I've only worn one for a full day wear test. I was very much surprised by the longevity of these fragrances. So the very first one, like I mentioned, is the Looking Glass, which is the one I've done the wear test on. This is what the bottle looks like. It's very interesting. So you take it out, and at first I thought I had to remove this, but you don't. And you basically remove the cap. Now, the cap is slightly, slightly magnetic. When I first sniffed this fragrance, it smells like pear, like nothing but pear in the top. But I don't even think it has a pear note. It just smells like it. It's light, it's clean, it's fresh at the same time. I really like this sniffing it straight from the bottle. Now on my skin, I wasn't sure how it was gonna last because on the strip of paper, it did not seem to last as long. So I put it to the test, of course, and I wore it to work. I really, really enjoy this one. So I also did a little research on this line of fragrances. I found out that 10 Crosby is like a street in New York that he really liked. And that is why it says 10 Crosby on his fragrances. So it's like named after a street, but then you have the actual name of the fragrance, which is Looking Glass. So like I mentioned, it is very light, um, very floral, but at the same time, there's a sweetness to it. Um, but not overly so. I do get a pear accord. I promise you I do. But the notes, there's no pear in this. It's very weird. So it doesn't give a list of the floral notes in this fragrance, but it is floral, but at the same time sweet, and there's like a cleanness to it. Um, there is tonka bean in it, but it's not like warm. It's just clean and airy and very nice. And like I said, the longevity surprised me on this one. I did wear it for the whole day and I was pleasantly surprised. So this one is Looking Glass by Derek Lamb. This one retailed for only $16.99 and when I checked online, the original retail price was like $85. So that is more than a steal. All right, so the next one, which is actually my favorite, this is the one I liked instantly when I sprayed it. This one is something wild. This one is warmer. You can tell already just by the juice. Like, look at how dark the juice is, y'all. I just knew I was going to like it because it's so dark and almost mysterious. So I'm going to spray this again. When I first spread this one, I instantly liked it. Um, this one is warmer, much warmer than the first one. It is warm and woody. And a little spicy. It does have cedar wood and vanilla in the base though, which gives it a nice warmth and smoothness to it. So looking glass surprised me, but uh something wild, something wild is my personal favorite. You can get this on many websites at a very affordable price currently. Like I said at TJ Maxx, it was like under $17. So I definitely wasn't familiar with these till I stumbled upon them and I I'm excited to try them out. I feel like they're both going to be pretty good, um, especially this one during the fall. But this one is like year round and this one is definitely warmer. I feel like this one will be much more long lasting than this one. But you never know. You never know. This one is the Sexy Sunset by Michael Kors. It definitely gives me sunny, warm vibes. You guys are familiar with the one ounce bottles by Michael Kors. 
I prefer getting these just because I do have a lot of fragrances in my collection. I believe I will get through this a little faster than the full size. So the one ounce bottles are perfect for me because I just prefer them. Anyway, um, this one again is Sexy Sunset. It gives me that, that feel. Think of a tropical destination at sunset. Like I really like that. Um, none of the Michael Kors fragrances necessarily last very long on me, but I do enjoy them. I do not mind reapplying. This one is pretty, but it goes right along the same vein with the others that I've tried and I have in my collection currently. I would describe this one as a warm, a beautiful warm floral fragrance. Perfect for the summer and um, just warm tropical nights. I don't have much hopes for the longevity, I don't, but I do not mind reapplying my fragrances. This one does have pear in it, as well as black currant. So it is a warm, fruity floral fragrance, but mostly floral. If you like the Michael Kors collection, I feel like you will like this one. I have not actually used this, so I cannot speak too much on it, but like I have mentioned that longevity typically from the Michael Kors line, just doesn't exist on me. So um, again, this is Sexy Sunset and it will look amazing next to its sisters in my collection. So on my mission to find more fragrances, I came across, this one is Woman Intense. I have the original in my collection, which is very pretty. I feel like it's a very beautiful feminine fragrance. I'd never smelled the Intense, nor did I even know it existed. Till Ruth's Gifted Hands mentioned it on my Instagram post where she said she had the, she mentioned that she had the intense, so then I was thoroughly intrigued. And then um, I went to TJ Maxx and lo and behold, there was the intense. It comes in this dark opaque bottle, which is very nice. You cannot see the juice in it at all. The cap on both fragrances are identical, but this one is so opaque, you cannot see the juice. When I sprayed this, it instantly reminded me of something. It reminded me of the only one intense. And of course I was more intrigued at first spray. It is very beautiful. I definitely prefer the intense version. Uh, wasn't expecting that, but it reminded me so much of the only one intense. I was like, oh my goodness. So I feel like the original is ultra feminine and beautiful, but this one has a little more character, more depth to it. When I compared it to the only one intense, there were a lot of similarities in the composition. Um, the dry down is not identical at all. I think I even prefer this a little bit more because I did a side by side comparison, but it is absolutely beautiful and I have been missing out. This one has notes I absolutely love in the top, the middle, as well as the base. Like the composition is very, very beautiful. If you guys have not sniffed this, and you get a chance to do so, please let me know what you think about my, my comparison. Like, I feel like they're so identical as far as the opening, not so much so in the dry down. And yes, it is an intense version of the original because I can tell the difference. And I love the difference. I prefer this one. This is Woman Intense by Ralph Lauren. So the next one on my list is Burberry London. I am not much of a fan, I guess, of Burberry. <laughs> You know I had my Burberry and that, I had a love-hate relationship with that fragrance for some reason. Even if I liked a lot of the notes in it, I somehow just, just went back and forth a lot. So it's no longer part of my collection. On first spray, I can say that it is very light. Um, not the typical fragrance that I gravitate towards. Immediately it comes off very floral in the opening, like a lot of floral notes, highly floral. <laughs> Not sweet by any means. I um, feel like it's lightweight and airy. Whenever I was testing this out and it dried down on the strip of paper, I was surprised that I liked the dry down as much as I did. The opening is not, it's not really my fave at all. Because of how lightweight it is, I think it would be amazing during the summer as well as spring. Um... But yeah, you have to be into floral notes, like a lot of floral notes to enjoy this one. There are citrusy notes in this, which I, I don't necessarily detect. Like I said, it's heavy on the floral and that is what stands out to me the most. This one is Burberry London and interesting fragrance.
interesting so the last one comes from salvatore ferragamo this one comes in this packaging and once i saw it i knew it was not like a recent fragrance but i like the name it's emotione so emotions i guess i think it's very like musky slash powdery and but i don't mind it i don't mind it at all it almost has like a classic feel to it and i definitely had not smelled this before the fruity notes do not even factor into my nose i don't know on my skin what that will look like or what that will smell like but the floral notes uh, stand out for sure the top has iris peach and bergamot i do not smell bergamot and i do not smell peach the floral notes in this one are key players in Emozione by Salvatore Ferragamo. Um, the actual bottle is very beautiful. This fragrance was launched back in 2015, so it's been around for a while. I do not hear anyone talking about it. I think it's very pretty. It's feminine, but again, very powdery and musky, mostly. And that is it. That is it for the video. That is it for the TJ Maxx haul. Um, do you guys have any of these fragrances? The ones I am most excited about are the ones by Derek Lamb. I really like Woman Intense. Very surprised, pleasantly surprised by that one. And um, I think I will enjoy the Emozione by Salvatore Ferragamo. So which one out of the ones I selected was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.